step into the vibrant world of the 1987 TV series, A Different World. This classic sitcom, a spin-off from The Cosby Show, takes you on a journey through the ups and downs of college life at Hillman College. As you dive into the series, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions from the hilariously funny moments to the shockingly unexpected twists and the heart-wrenchingly sad scenes. The show not only captures the essence of college life, but also addresses social issues, making it a compelling watch. Have you ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in a different world was your favorite? The ensemble cast brings a range of characters to life, adding depth and humor to the storyline. And speaking of storylines, is there a particular scene or moment in the series that has had a lasting impact on you? The show delves into various themes, making it resonate with a wide audience. So keep your eyes peeled for the funny, shocking, and sad facts that lie ahead in a different world. We're curious to know what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. A Different World, a television series that premiered in 1987, made a significant impact on popular culture during its time. Created as a spin-off from The Cosby Show, it aimed to depict the experiences of students at a fictional, historically black college, Hillman College. During its run, the show resonated with audiences for its authentic portrayal of issues like race, relationships, and societal challenges. It addressed relevant social topics, such as racism, sexism, and cultural identity, making it a groundbreaking production that went beyond typical sitcom narratives. The reception was positive, as the series became a platform for addressing important issues within the African-American community. It contributed to a shift in cultural representation on television, showcasing diverse stories and perspectives that were often overlooked. The impact extended beyond the screen, leading to several spin-offs and adaptations. It served as a catalyst for discussions around diversity in media and paved the way for more inclusive storytelling. The success prompted the creation of other shows exploring similar themes, influencing the trajectory of television narratives for years to come. Merchandising opportunities also emerged, with branded products gaining popularity. The characters became cultural icons, and their catchphrases found their way into everyday conversations. The merchandise created a lasting connection between the audience and the show, solidifying its place in popular culture. The legacy endures through its lasting impact on television and its contribution to cultural conversations. It remains a pivotal moment in the history of television, showcasing the power of storytelling to influence societal perceptions and norms. In conclusion, the exploration of relevant social issues, coupled with spin-offs, merchandise, and cultural impact, solidified its place in the annals of television history. The show's legacy continues to resonate, serving as a testament to the enduring influence of authentic and diverse storytelling in the world of entertainment. In the early stages of a different world, Whitley's character was intended for a single appearance in the pilot. However, due to her immense popularity, Jasmine Guy, the actress portraying her, became the focal point of the show. Her recurring role transformed her into the series star. Daryl M. Bell, the actor behind Ron, faced a parallel in his real-life experience. Ron's decision to pursue a music career led to a strained relationship with his on-screen father. Bell revealed that his own choice to enter acting initially caused a fallout with his father, drawing a parallel between fiction and reality. Dawn Lewis, who played Jalisa, contributed more than just her acting skills to the show. She was among the songwriters for the series' theme, showcasing her multifaceted talents beyond acting. These insights, derived from a reputable source, provide a glimpse into the behind-the-scenes dynamics of a different world, shedding light on character developments and the personal experiences of the cast members. Alfonso Ribeiro was initially slated to join the regular cast of the series as Zach Duncan, but he opted for the Fresh Prince of Bel Air instead. The regular characters on the show had declared majors, providing insight into their academic pursuits. Dwayne focused on math, Whitley on art history, Jalisa on business, Kim on pre-med, Freddie on creative writing, Walter pursued a master's degree, Ron's major remained unknown, Lena studied creative writing, Denise was undeclared, and Maggie pursued journalism. In the first season, Whitley's original roommate Millie was written out due to actress Marie Alice Rekasner's pregnancy. Producers took this opportunity to introduce Kim, a strong-willed and independent character, to contrast with Whitley. 
These details, gleaned from a reputable source, offer a glimpse into the show's casting decisions, characters, and storyline developments, shedding light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics of the series. In 2006, Nick at Night launched Hillman College Reunion, a series of shorts reuniting cast members from a different world. The shorts, featuring Lisa Bonet, Jasmine Guy, Kadeem Hardison, Daryl M. Bell, Cree Summer, and Sinbad, aired during a week-long marathon of the series, providing fans with a nostalgic glimpse into the characters' lives. Between seasons two and five, the show's theme song took on a soulful rendition by Aretha Franklin, who was previously married to Glenn Turman, a co-star in the series. This musical shift added a distinctive touch to the show's atmosphere during this period. In an interesting off-screen dynamic, co-stars Lisa Bonet and Marissa Tomei, who portrayed roommates on the show, actually shared a living space in real life. This unusual connection between the actors brought an authentic dimension to their on-screen chemistry. These intriguing details, all sourced from a reputable website, offer additional layers to the A Different World narrative, showcasing the enduring impact of the series on both its audience and cast members. Lisa Bonet and Cree Summer, though never co-stars on the show, shared a genuine friendship off-screen. In real life, they were best friends. On the show, Kadeem Hardison and Cree Summer were in a long-term relationship, a dynamic that added a layer of authenticity to their on-screen chemistry. Despite Hardison's character's on-screen romance with Jasmine Guy, Summer expressed no discomfort, emphasizing that she and Guy were like sisters outside the fictional world, a stark contrast to their characters. The show's theme underwent notable changes during its run. In the first season, Phoebe Snow lent her voice to the theme. Aretha Franklin took over in seasons two through five, infusing a soulful vibe. In the final season, Boys Two Men provided their rendition, marking a distinct musical shift. These insights, drawn from a reputable source, offer a glimpse into the personal connections and musical evolution within the world of a different world, showcasing the genuine relationships behind the scenes and the dynamic changes in the show's soundtrack. Maggie's absence after the initial season of A Different World remained unexplained, leaving viewers to speculate about her character's departure. The show's creators opted not to address this mystery, allowing the storyline to evolve without providing closure on Maggie's narrative. Jasmine Guy, who portrayed Whitley, originally tried out for the role of Jaylisa. However, by the time she officially joined the series, the opening credits had already been filmed, explaining her absence from these sequences. This behind-the-scenes decision shaped the show's visual introduction and contributed to the unique dynamics of the cast. The distinctive accent of Jasmine Guy's character, Whitley, found its inspiration in her fifth grade teacher, Miss Pinkford. This tidbit, shared by Jasmine herself on Intimate Portrait, offers insight into the real-life influences that actors bring to their performances. The personal connection to Whitley's accent adds a layer of authenticity to the character's portrayal on the screen. These details, sourced from a reputable website, shed light on specific aspects of a different world that may have piqued the curiosity of its audience, offering a glimpse into the show's creative decisions and the personal touches actors brought to their roles. In the realm of a different world, some characters vanished without explanation. Millie, Maggie Lawton, Jaleesa Vincent Taylor, Letitia Levy Bostick, Ernest Bennett, and Terence Taylor all departed without closure, leaving viewers to speculate on their fates. The show's creators chose to let these narratives evolve without providing any resolution. Whitley's father, Mercer Gilbert, underwent a casting shuffle with three different actors portraying him, Conroy Jedian, Kenneth Washington, and Ron O'Neill. Notably, Ron O'Neill took on a different character before assuming the role of Whitley's father, adding an interesting layer to the show's casting dynamics. During the party scene in The Good Help is Hard to Find episode on November 8, 1990, a background song played a unique role. The song Try Me was from the debut album of Jasmine Guy, the actress who portrayed Whitley. This subtle detail reflects the integration of cast members' talents into the show's atmosphere. These details, all drawn from a reputable source, offer additional insights into the mysteries surrounding character disappearances and the behind-the-scenes dynamics of a different world, providing fans with a deeper understanding of the show's intricacies. 